Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Don from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And the next time you need a part for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the window bracket on your power window regulator. And we do that using the window regulator repair kit from 1AAuto.com. And we show you on this 2006 Jeep Liberty, and we show on the driver's side, but the passenger side is a similar procedure. And the items you'll need for this is a new window regulator repair kit from 1AAuto.com, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet, a drill with a 316 bit, pliers, and a rivet gun. Start off by prying out this little panel behind your door handle. Now remove this Phillips screw and this one down in your pole cup. And we'll just fast forward as Don does this. Now pull out around the door panel to release the clips. When you get to the top, pry the door panel out. And once the clip pops free, pull the door panel up and off. On the back of your door panel, you want to release the clip on your door handle rod and pull the door handle rod down and out. Then you want to push the tabs on both harnesses and release them. Now you want to remove the speaker. It's held in by these three Phillips screws. And we'll just fast forward as Don removes those. Once you remove all three bolts, pull the speaker forward, push on the tab on the harness, and disconnect it. And then just remove your water shield. And you want to just carefully peel that off the door and pull the harnesses and your door handle rod through it. And ours was a little bit easier because it had been removed before. Take your time not to damage it. Use a flat blade screwdriver and pry out these clips. Now push the window back and out of the regulator and then push it up. And if your window is in a different location when it breaks, you do the same process wherever it's at and make sure your window's up and tape it up. Now loosen these three nuts. and then lift it up and push those studs through the holes. And now do the same thing for these three bolts on your motor. Now push the red clip on your power window motor and then push the tab on the harness and pull it free. And we're just gonna fast forward a little bit here as he works the regulator out of the window. You want to lift the regulator up to the top inside corner of the door and then feed it down through that hole. Take some time to maneuver it out. Now using your drill, just drill out the old rivet right here. And now use a flat blade screwdriver and pry up these tabs. Remove this 10 millimeter bolt. And now pry that plastic part up off the rail and pull it back. and your window bracket will pull down and off. Now twist the window bracket off the spring. 
take your new window bracket and twist it on. And now slide the window bracket back onto the rail. And clip that plastic part back onto the rail. Using pliers, push those two clips back down. Now use a rivet gun to put a rivet back in the spot where you drilled out the older one. And push these clips back into place. And replace that 10 millimeter bolt. Not all the way, so you can hang the rail back up in the door. Now feed your window regulator back up into place. And then you want to just angle it so you can get your motor and your regulator back into place so you can hang them up. And put the bolts through the holes. slide them down and you want to do the same thing with the motor and then we'll just fast forward as Don tightens all six of those bolts back up reconnect your motor harness and push that red clip back in and remove the tape on your window and carefully lower the window back down into the door. And you want to line up the studs on the window with the slots on the regulator. And once you have them lined up, just push the window back into the regulator. And we'll fast forward here as he puts the door handle rod, the lock, and the harnesses back through the water shield and then pushes the water shield back into place. Reconnect your speaker and line it back up and replace those three bolts. And we'll fast forward as Don does this and tightens them up. Now to replace your door panel, push the harnesses back into place, push the door handle rod back into place and reclip it. Then line your door panel up and push it down onto the windowsill and over that lock. Now make sure your clips are lined up and hit them in around the door panel. And we'll just fast forward here as Don replaces those two Phillips screws and replaces that little panel behind the door handle. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.